there are a lot of white houses in Durango in the in the Four Corners area today because of all that snow. And that's where meteorologist Mark Ronchetti is. And Mark, we've seen the snow fall. I'm curious about how cold it is up there right now. You know what, Mike? Here's the one thing about this storm, and it's the case with a lot of El Nino storms. It's not that cold. What makes it cold out here is how wet it is, obviously. But temperatures right close to freezing for us at this point. And many areas of western New Mexico right now are above freezing. So for the most part here, temperature not your biggest concern. And in fact, if temperatures were 5 to 10 degrees colder, roads would be even worse. But thanks to some travel on the roads, especially 550 out of Albuquerque up here toward Durango, there's enough traffic there that Essentially, you've been able to keep the roads fairly wet versus just all snow packed. That's going to change tonight and into tomorrow as we draw in more cold air, though. So as bad as the roads are here, they could be worse, and they will get worse as we work our way into tonight and tomorrow as well. But as you look around here in the Durango area, snow continues to fall. Everybody clearing off their cars for now, but knowing that they're going to continue to clear off those cars over the next couple of days. We're talking two to three feet is a real possibility, especially in the San Juans just outside of town here, but even right in in Durango. I would not be surprised to see 18 inches or so fall here. There's already six on the ground and much more on the way. Let's get to all the warnings and all, of course, the advisories as well and the moisture too. Now, one change for us over the past, say, half hour or so, the winter storm watch over the Sangre de Cristos and East Mountains is now a winter storm warning. What we're looking at here is 6 to 12 inches below 7,500 feet by the time we're all said and done. Two to maybe three feet of possibility on some of the ridge tops here. So even the East Mountains just going to get plastered by this storm. Meanwhile, Gusty winds, a possibility along the central mountain chain as well with those high wind warnings. And then up here in and around the Durango area, we have winter storm warnings. And just to our north, up around Silverton, blizzard warnings. The biggest difference between a winter storm warning and a blizzard warning in this particular case are the gusty winds. And we're getting them in some spots here and much more in the way of those winds going to continue as that storm approaches for us. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on with the radar here. And one interesting thing about this as we push it on in here is essentially what we're dealing with is relative relatively warm air pushing its way through and that's helping us to stay rain throughout parts of eastern Arizona and parts of western New Mexico. Well throughout the night tonight and throughout the day tomorrow that rain will turn to snow. The big blob now is obviously mainly rain showers. That's a lot of warm air coming in from the Pacific. That's going to change over though as the cold core of the storm slides on over by tomorrow. Everything starts to change over. So in areas like Durango you'll stay snow but in areas like Gallup and western New Mexico will transition from rain to snow throughout the day tomorrow and the same deal in the Albuquerque area. Looking at the temperatures for us right now, really not too bad across the board here with all the cloud cover and moisture. We've kept temperatures pretty mild, 30s and 40s across northern New Mexico, southern Colorado, and mainly 50s across southern portions of the state. Satellite and radar shows there is a tremendous moisture tap with this storm coming out of the Pacific. The storm itself, you can see it's spinning off the west coast, and it's throwing that moisture our way. So we start with the warm stuff now. As the low approaches, it drags the cold front in here, and we go from rain to snow tomorrow in the morning hours in Albuquerque will have a good chance of picking up snow and obviously the East Mountains will get a whole lot of snow as will the Sangre de Cristos. Anybody can show you a storm track but what about the super storm track? Let's put it into motion here and you can see the rain out west tonight but watch what happens. Front pushes through. Notice the blue out to the west now. That's the snow. That's the cold air and that's what's going to lead to big time snow accumulations throughout New Mexico and of course more snow here in southwestern Colorado. It continues throughout the day on Friday and into Saturday as well. This is a slow-moving storm. We're going to continue to rack up impressive snowfall totals throughout the day on Friday and Saturday. And then it looks like things will finally start to calm down for us by Sunday. Northwest Plateau in southwestern Colorado. Snow continues tonight. Snow for tomorrow. Winter storm warnings across the board. Stay inside. Don't go outside if you don't have to, especially driving. Hey, you want to go out in the yard and live it up. It's going to be great weather for that. Across the southwest, right now, mainly rain. Gila's will go to snow into tomorrow and significant accumulations there as well, especially north of Silver City. One to two feet of snow will be possible above about 7,500 feet. Across the southeast, temperatures here really look like they're going to be fairly mild, mainly in the 60s. Mainly scattered rain showers will be a possibility. This is a western half to western two-thirds of the state type of storm. As you get to the east, start to run out of some moisture there. You start to run out of the necessary lift that helps really crank up the heavy stuff. Across the northeast, we are looking at a good chance of showers for tomorrow and snow around places like Mora as well. 
across the northern mountains. We've just transitioned over into a winter storm warning across the Sangre de Cristos. Again, places like the Tau Ski Valley, Red River, Angel Fire, all going to rack up over a foot of snow by the time this is all said and done on Saturday. And Santa Fe going to see snow tomorrow as well and into Saturday with temperatures mainly in the 30s. Meanwhile, East Mountains, winter storm warning coming up for mainly tomorrow, I think, is going to be the big time to start to really accumulate those snows along with that cold front and then back behind the front will just continue to push in those snow showers. And same deal in the metro area. No winter storm warnings yet. Let's wait and see how things shake out here in the metro, but it definitely is something we need to keep a close eye on, and we'll see those much colder temperatures come in by tomorrow afternoon along with that cold front changing any rain we see over to snow. So, Mike, we're rolling sunset here in Durango. Not that I can see the sun, but I can definitely tell it's starting to get darker out here, but the snow is not letting up at all. I can't wait to watch that super storm track again at 530. Thanks, Mark. There you go. All right, very good. We'll be right